of what we're going to do today in making our cakes, um, our strawberry lemonade cake, is you're going to just start with a box strawberry cake, um, any brand that you like, or you can make your strawberry cake from scratch, whatever works for you. I just wanted to do it kind of quickly, so I bought the box cake, and you're going to pour them into two circle pans. They can be eight or nine inch uh, round, um, and just go ahead and fix it accordingly to what the instructions on the back of the box is. This one is saying 350 degrees for about 30 to 35 minutes. So I'm going to get these in the oven, and then we will start on our lemonade frosting. Alright guys, so we're going to do our cream cheese, well, lemonade cream cheese frosting. So, um, the cakes are cooking in the oven. So right now I've got an 8 ounce bar of softened room temperature cream cheese. To that I'm just going to add a little uh, package of Kool-Aid lemonade flavor. I guess this is uh, .23 ounce, so um, go ahead and add that in. This is great. And then the, the recipe that I saw doesn't call for it, but I'm going to add the zest of one lemon. I thought that would be kind of good. We'll see how it works. Um, and then uh, yellow gel food coloring, just to the tint that you would like for it to be. So if you want a super bright yellow, go for it. If not, not so much. You're going to cream this together. And this is why it's really important that the cream cheese is um, at room temperature. So this is going to um, not be as yellow, as bright if I, as I've got it right now, once I get all the rest of the ingredients in there, which are some really good ingredients, I might add. Make sure you're getting it all creamed really well. you get all of the cream cheese that you can off of your little mixer using your handy spatula. Oh yes, they come in all shapes and sizes and they help you in the kitchen. <sighs> Not a funny joke I know. Okay, about as good as we're going to get for today again. Alright, so you've got this all together. Next. Mmm, smells good. That is very lemony. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to add to that 8 ounces of uh, whipped topping. I thought we had 8 ounces, but um, we only have maybe 3 fourths of that. But that's okay. We're going to overcompensate. Oh, my goodness. We're going to compensate with our jello mixture. I mean, our, not our jello, our marshmallow. So, to this, you're going to want to add 2 cups which is roughly like a size of, one cup is roughly a size of one of these jars. Again, I'm going to kind of help over overcompensate because I didn't have as much um, whip topping. At least that's what I'm telling myself, that's why we're doing this. <laughs> whip marshmallow cream is really good. So this is just the Jet Puff Marshmallow Cream in the new non-shatterproof, the shatterproof jars. I guess they used to be in regular jars before. 
So just try to get as much of that out as you can. Oh my gosh, this is going to be ridiculously good, y'all. Woohoo! And I'm slinging stuff all over the place. Alright, so you're not going to use your mixer for this, but you're just going to try to get this really well incorporated, mixed around, and see the yellow has lightened up a lot. And you know, if you want it to be a little bit more yellow, then just get your handy dandy food coloring out and um, mix it some more uh, with some more food coloring. Alright, so this is getting all incorporated. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it back in the refrigerator so that it stays cold since it's got the whipped cream in it. Or, yeah, the whipped, top, whipped, whipped, whipped topping. Um, and uh, once the cakes have completely cooled, because as, as you can imagine, this will melt if the cakes are warm. So once the cakes are completely cooled, we'll put this on to our layered cakes. So we'll be back whenever it's time to do the frosting. Okay guys, so our cake has completely cooled. All I did was I took each of the cakes and I cut them in half. So that way we'll have four really thin layers. We've got um, our lemonade whipped topping here and what we're going to do is we're just going to spread it onto the layers and we're going to layer them. And we don't have to worry about this going onto um, the sides. It's just going to be um, in the middle parts. So let me get this all layered and put together and then I'll let you see the finished product. Alright guys, there's the finished product. I went ahead and did the sides because <laughs> um, I had a lot extra. So um, I guess kind of measured out how you want to do it on the um, in the layers. But let's go ahead and let me cut out a piece here. My true taste tester, my husband, is going to let us know how it is. I don't have a pie thing. There's the inside. The different layers. Let's see. Try it, babe. Tell us what you think. Good? Yeah, it is good. Mmm! <laughs> okay. This is, oh man, this is good. Wow, this is really good. Try this, guys. Definitely really good. Nice little summer treat. Not too heavy. Tastes really good. <laughs> and my husband, with his um, nasal voice, decided to say he likes it too. So, check it out. Good recipe. Hope you guys.